Well, hey, everybody. Um, this is Dave in Indiana, windy Indiana, as I like to call it, because it's always windy whenever I'm out hunting. Uh, this is everything I've found since uh, October 25th through yesterday, the 21st. And, um, you know, pretty happy with everything so far. Found what I'd consider a few unique pieces this year. Um, things I've never found before. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, our video camera just sucks when it comes to making videos. So I'm trying this with my phone. But, um, this piece right here, a uh, hard stone piece. Not sure, 100% sure if that's anything or not. Uh, kind of, you know, pretty much looks like it was shaped into something. Pretty smooth on this side. Pretty sharp along that edge right there. So I'm sure it could have been used for something. Um, but uh, that, that's probably my questionable piece that I found. Um, this, I was, <laughs> man, I was in shock when I found this one sticking out of the ground. Um, it was about that much of the tip was showing in the video. It's probably seen, but um, it's been worked. It's pretty been smooth on this side. Um, Lance Paul says probably a big old tool, so I'd have to agree. This, saw it laying face up, right on top of the ground, has this notch in this side, flipped it over, and just notched on that side. Pretty heavy piece, um, busted up pretty bad. Looks like they might, might have worked it down to like a beveled edge or something. I don't know. What do you consider that a hand axe or what? But uh, it's pretty heavy piece. So um, that it's got all kinds of peck marks on it and everything too. Um, found this tool fits right in your hand, perfect. And I mean, it's it's just worn, and it you know you couldn't. Couldn't do it yourself and make it fit any better, I don't think. But uh, I don't know. A couple ways it fits both ways actually. So um, kind of nice piece for a for a hard stone. Um, just some other broken pieces. A lot of stuff this year that's it's pretty chunky, thick. That, pretty rough looking, but blade of some kind. This piece, oh man, I I really liked finding that one. It's got some really nice color in it. And um, got a old chip chunk taken out of a couple smaller ones. Um, another big chunky blade. This one I didn't get on the camera because it was dead. So I went, and went on it walking. It was standing straight up in the ground. About like, well, probably about that much of it showing. Something along that line. And uh, was lucky enough to come across it. It's a cool piece. Um, I don't doubt if you can see it in, uh, in this lighting. But it's got bluish gray veins and then lighter veins running through it of course missing a piece up there but it's had been worked all the way around so a little on the thick side also um, another unique find I'm not really sure what you would call this I looked in the books and they said it could be an effigy or a exotic piece um, a doodle <laughs> So, I don't know. Anybody's got any idea on that? It's, you know, just, I don't know. So, oop, let's go ahead and break it. This one I found yesterday. It was starting to rain pretty hard. I was in the, I'm not leaving until I find something mode. Couldn't hear that on the video because the wind was blowing so hard. But it's thick chunky piece also and that point it wouldn't take much to 
push it into your skin. It's just awesome sharp, but uh, a lot of cool color in it. So. This one's the same way. I wish you could see it because it's got, it's lighter across the top and then it's got a darker vein. The base of it is dark and, you know, looks really cool. My most unique point this year, never found anything in this area with a base like that. I found some broken pieces with, um, had the two. Uh, at the bottom, like I can't really do it. Didn't have that the, that triple point like that. I found them with just with the, like that, and uh, nothing like that at all. It's a pretty thin piece. It's been worked a little bit on both sides. Um, oops, trying to drop everything. Let's see, do this. Got a. A little bit of cupping to it, so somebody definitely wanted to make one out of that. And just some of the usual type finds that we have around here. That one's really cool. Got a lot of nice color in it also. But um, all, like I said, all in all, I'm pretty happy with everything this year. Don't know how much more I'll get to go out, but, uh, you know... I was try to find a little bit of time to go looking. This, I picked this up because it was uh, pretty cool veins running through it. And um, I thought, you know, that might be something to try to work. But then I got, after I got the mud off of it, uh, mud off of it uh, everything, and looked along that edge right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Probably not. But it's like micro flaked i mean it has got some some little tiny serrated edge across there and it is just absolutely razor sharp so i'll leave that alone broke points um then haven't found any broken bases yet um but that's pretty much it for me this year so um Glad I could put something together. I, I got a lot of other stuff that I never get to do cleanup videos on. Maybe I'll try to do some this winter. But uh, thanks, thanks for looking and uh, appreciate the comments on the other um, walks. You know the videos I put on my walks, and uh, anybody can give me any ideas on uh, some of the stuff I'd appreciate, especially this and that and. Uh, any, everybody's thoughts on that piece. I just can't help but think that it's not, not used for something. So, All right. Well, everybody have good luck. Happy hunting to everybody. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.